What's going on, guys? It's me, Doc, from SampleKings.com. And of course, today, as you saw the thumbnail, I'm going to teach you how to get thousands, even millions, if you can actually pull them down, of samples from the internet. It's pretty simple stuff to do. I want to talk about, first of all, if you like the site and you love what's going on actually in YouTube, as I keep making these instructional videos for all kinds of stuff, please subscribe. I need subscribers by the pound. I need them by the pound. We got a lot of views, but not enough subscribers. It's my fault. I haven't been pushing it so much. And I realized too, I've got to push it more and more to get a bigger place inside of YouTube to get more people to come see us so I can make more videos, not spend time doing other stuff like chasing girls. Well, I'm old now, so I don't chase them. You know, I have to beg them. But really, my thing now is just to try and develop a much more organized way for us to work together and find out what you need to know and what I need to teach you. Now, one way of doing that is actually Sample Kings, of course. Now, you know already we've got the site. You know now, you may not know yet, but right here, the membership's just 20 bucks now. Now, why this is cool is because once you become a member, you'll be able to get lessons for just like 15 bucks an hour. That works. Then also, of course, you can always call me here, New York, Tokyo, either place. You know what I'm saying? That phone number works no matter where I am, no matter what goes on. These phones always work. And then, of course, we do lessons for 20 bucks an hour. If you don't want to do that, you can just get 20 bucks. You can pay through Cash App, which is like an American app. You can use Venmo, which is a PayPal app. Peep that out. Or you can use PayPal. Now, PayPal, you want to come right up here and you can get PayPal and use it. So what I want to talk about today is something really important to me is getting samples cheap. <laughs> okay, it's a beautiful thing to do. And this is a new world. I'm going to go over this right now. I've done so many things already we talked about. I'm going to go right to here. This is the extensions folder inside my Chrome browser. Now, this actually works in a Chrome browser, okay? So I got my Chrome browser up here. And so I have this app here. This is called... Chrome Audio Capture. I want you to get this right now. So if you're in Chrome, if you have Chrome, pull Chrome up. We're going to go inside Chrome Audio Capture. Got that? But the one I want to really get is this one here called Chrome Audio Capture. This one. I think it's the same things. You'll see this says, this extension captures the audio on the current tab and saves the output file on your computer when the capture is complete. Think about that. Any song in YouTube, any old or new song in YouTube, I can capture them and keep them in my pocket. Oh, this is awesome. Now, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go to something I wanna get, right? I go to, let's say, go to YouTube. I'm here in YouTube, right? I may wanna get something that's off of YouTube. I may come to here, I may wanna get, ooh, I may wanna get this, and I may wanna get this from YouTube, right? I want to get one of these sounds from YouTube. These are records right here, right? I'll come to here. I'll get this one first. I'm going to pull this back to here. Now, before I get this sample, I need to pull up Chrome Audio Capture. Remember, that's a tab I'm in right there. That's my tab. Next, what I want to do, we're going to go right here to my little button right there. Boom. Chrome Audio Capture. This says start. Got hotkeys, too. We have options, though. Check out the options here. I'll click there. I can do four minutes of capture. It's not bad. I don't want to do that much. I'm going to do something like maybe maybe a minute or so. I'm going to get, get some sample sounds, some chops, some pieces of chop up. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm going to press save that. That's good. Now I'm good to go. I don't need to have this open anymore. I can just go like, eh, no big deal. Right? So now, now I'm hearing this one here. I want to capture something from this record here. So I'm going to come here and go like, okay, there it is. Start. It started. I come to here. Start. Fellas, can we still do it? We can do it. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, stop that. Oh yeah, that was funky for a minute there. I got that one. So you know, I want to go ahead and say, hey, look, it's done. We're gonna go here. I'm gonna say save capture. Boom. We're saving it. Now look what happens here. We get two options. Option is to download file as a custom name. Or I can download file as date. I prefer the custom name. I go to custom name here. You see it right here? That's it right there, of course. It says 308. 
So that's probably the 308th sample I've taken. I have no idea what that 308 means. But I know what this is and what that sample is. I want to save it to my desktop. Boom, desktop, please. Save it right there. Boom, I'm saving that one. Okay, that's one I got. I'm going to get one more. Let's go to, uh, I want to go here. Okay, Chubby Checker 1962. Well, it's called Popeye the Hitchhiker. This is cool here. I'm going to grab this here. I'm going to take another, another sample. This is a new sample. I'm here. I'll press start, and I go to here. I'll say, go, go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's old school. Stop that. That's cool. I like that. We're going to go back to here. We're going to do this here. Oh, you're going to save that one. Save this capture. It comes up again. I'll go here. Download as a custom file again. Custom name, excuse me. Here's the name. It's 308. So, okay, it's 308. This is cool. So now I got this one, Popeyes. I'm going to put this on my desktop as well. Desktop. Put it there. Save that file there. That's kind of cool. I've saved the file. I'll get one more file. I'm going to get one more. I'm going to get this in the beginning here. I'm going to grab something like, uh, oh, what's this here? Oh, I mean, I'm feeling that one right there. That's kind of like hot. I'm going to come here and get this file right here. So um, I'm going to go here to audio capture. I'll press, I'm going to take this to the top. I'm going to go to the top here. Start from the top. And let's go with this one right here. Audio capture, go. And I'm going to go to here and I'll say go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling that. Okay, that's enough of that. That's, that's pretty hot. Loving the way that sounds. Okay, I have enough now. I'm going to go back here, get that file before it keeps going on and on, right? I'm going to press save this one here. The same thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go press download file as custom name. There it is right there. Go to my desktop once again. I go back to here, save it. Okay, I'm good to go. I'm going to get rid of that stuff right there. Guess what? I'm back on my MPC software. It never goes anywhere. So currently, I've got my MPC up. I got my MPC up in controller mode. It doesn't matter. It could be MPC 3.4.3. It could be MPC 2.15.1. Doesn't make a difference. Controller mode. No matter what, this software here will appear over there. Got me? But my purpose here, more than anything else, is to make the hard drive on here appear on my computer desktop. By going in controller mode, I can do that. So... I can come to here, actually, get to the side, pull this over a little bit, and this is the hard drive that's on my computer. Cool. And now you see I'm an MPC. Now I can code it here. I can say, well, look, look at this right here. That's volumes. If I look on my MPC, currently it was, I'm using the MPC 1 Plus, and I look here, I will see the same thing. We're going to pull these files in. So I got some files already in here. Let's get out of this one here. We're going to Pull out of this uh, over here. Boom. Close that out. And I get to here. I want a brand new session. Let's make a whole brand new session. I'm going to come in here and say, give me a new project. We have a brand new project right now. Okay, great. Everything's empty. I'm going to find those samples. I had them here, didn't I? Here they go. Here's one of them. Oh, that's right in there. Take a second one. Oh, that's right in there, too. Take a third one. That's in there, too. I have all three samples in this. This is YouTube on the back of these things. Cool. I can come to here, I'll press edit, edit, there's a sample. Looks kind of tiny, I'll fix it up later on though. Let's go to here and see what we got going on. Let's go to here, and what is this anyway? Let's go to the back of this one. That's not bad like that right there, okay. Now I want to hear this, so I'm just going to like press uh, here. No, I don't want that. I got to do a different way with this thing. I got this thing rolling here. Oh, get rid of that. I don't want that. I want this do it. I want this thing right here. Here. That's the downbeat. I want the downbeat right here. I'm going to pull down on my MC software and get deep. I'm going to get real close to what the, what the right I can really see. I'm going to make sure I get exactly. Oh, that's good. I come to here. Oh, the reason why I went by that was I just, I just put the, here, I just hold it down. See that? I just hold that down, it comes back to the top. That's how you do that. I can grab here at the top, go like that, stretch it out like this, go like that, get closer in, you know what I mean? 
I'm trying to get close enough to where that beat actually starts so I don't miss any flow here. I generally get it right to where it's right here. I want to be right where this black line touches this white line. They're exactly on that line. And I don't want to go too far down. I want to make sure I got no pops and clicks. Then I'll drag him the top part here and drag up. Now, of course, this could also be like beats. I can make it to beats if I want this whole line, right? So anyway, I got that there. I may like it. I want to find the end now. So I'll hold this down. So I want to get to here. I don't think I'm going to get one bar of this. Now I can't play and loop it. I'm, I'm going to loop it though. Watch this. Now go down to here. In the software, I'm going to press play loop continuous. Now see, I'm almost there. Get my end closer. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that. That's hot. So that I like a lot. I'm going to actually stop. I'll go to here. I'll hit play loop continuous again. It stops. Pretty cool. I can play it again. I can drag up here on the top line. And I'm back in run. So I should be. Now look. What's cool about this thing here really is awesome is that I will come down here. Right down here where it says BPM. That says 110.81. Holy cow, I got the BPN. Now what I don't like probably is that this is not looking like it's a big file or gonna fill the space up. So I have a problem with normalizing things. Boom, oh I like that, that's normalized right there. Now I'm feeling that, let's hit that back again now. Oh yeah, I'm feeling that. That's cool, so now I want to extract this file out, right? So I'm going to come to here. I'm going to press extract, okay? I'm like pulling teeth here. So I'm extracting this to my loop. I'm going to call this my horn loop. Okay, my horn loop. I'll press do it. And then it'll appear right here inside of my samples, right? So let me widen this back up again, and we'll see how that appears right there. Now I want to save my samples in a folder, okay? Save the whole project in a folder. So here we go. We're going to come to here and do save. Before I do that, though, I'm going to my desktop here, and I want to make a brand new folder. Press new folder. It appears right there. I'm going to call this new samples. All right? I'll press right there. Ooh. That's already been taken, so it's already been taken. I already made it right here, right? So let's get this out of here. Move this to the trash. <laughs> and we got one right here. It's empty right there. There's a new folder I made already called new samples. Now, I want to go back over to the software. And then my software is right here. I want to save this project. And I want to come in here. I'm an NPC software now. I want to come here and say save this project as. And I want to put it in that folder. So I'm going to go back up here to the top and go to here. I want to go to my desktop. I want to find that thing that says new sample. So I'm scrolling down here and we want to get a hold of it. It should be right below here somewhere. On the desktop. And here we go, new samples right there. So now I want to go into this folder. I'm going to press open actually. There you go. And now I want to save this inside of there. Now after I save my samples, I'm going to open this folder up here, and you see this is the XPJ file. Next to it, we've got the samples, you can see right here, right? The XML file too as well, and the XPM file for program. So it's all right here for us to check out. Cool, this is the MIDI file right there for the MIDI controller. See that right there? So we know what to do. It's all ready to go. It's no problem. I can take this folder now. Let's close this out. And if I want to, I can drag it right here to my MPC folder. Now, that's on my MPC. Once I plug my MPC in through my computer with a USB cable and controller mode, you will see the drive on your desktop. You can take all the samples you get, take them, put them in that folder or whatever, put them there or store them on your hard drive. But you've got, now you've got a place, now you've got a chance to save tons of samples, create tons of stems by going on the internet, using Chrome Audio Capture, 
without any turntables, and you can have a lot of fun. Any questions, hit me up at samplekings.com. If you need lessons, yo, you know who to see. I'm here. I got you. Peace.